A key highlight on the calendar of events commemorating Women's Month is the Standard Bank Top Women Awards. These annual awards acknowledge the incredible contributions of women at the highest levels of organizations across all sectors and aims to ignite the ambition of Africa's women to pursue their goals. It's important for us to have platforms like the Top Women Awards to recognize amazing female entrepreneurs as well as women leaders in business so we can replicate those winnings as well as their case studies and change the narrative. The direction we want to see corporates take is to make real efforts to change the diversity in the workplace, to bring more women on board, and by empowering women and bringing women into the boardrooms, into senior positions, you not only empower the organization, but women empower communities, they empower more people around them, and they bring with them purpose-driven motives, so it adds a flavor to an organization that doesn't exist right now. In a society where women are primarily in the majority, it, it would not make sense for any organization not to look into that majority and extract the skills, the talent within that majority, because I think they will see much more progress, they will see much more nurturing, they will see much empowerment of, of the young people as well and other women. If you do not make a deliberate effort to make sure that 50% or more than 50% of your talent is women, it means you are missing out. You are ignoring 50% of uh, the expertise that you could be having. By bringing women in, you're bringing in different perspectives, you're bringing in different views, you know, so that all adds to the richness of leadership. To make it sustainable also, I think we have to really start with the young people and bring our youth in and then grow them. When you have women empowered, as in being able to earn an income, a good income, it, it trickles down back to the family. And if the family is good, the family is well taken care of, the community uh, benefits and the society at large benefits. Work is a reflection of our society, so if we can get it right at work, then we take it back home. On the 17th of August, the 14th Annual Top Woman Awards honoured outstanding woman leaders in both the private and public sectors who inspire and empower those around them. I think it is very important to have functions like this because I think behind the scenes there's so much hard work that goes into a business and I think any person on this earth wants to feel acknowledged and events like these are exactly what that is. It's just acknowledgement of your hard work, your effort, your dedication that you've put into a business or in, into a project that, you, that you're busy with. All entries for the awards are evaluated against a strict criteria of gender empowerment and performance and women are then selected as winners in 26 diverse categories. I think this is a very great initiative. It encourages women to do better and it also gives hope to those who are actually working hard and never get recognition. And you know, it, when you win, at least somebody's noticing your work. All in all, it's about promoting women and supporting women and their strives in terms of making it in the country. And when you get here, you find so many women supporting each other, having programs that are supporting other women. It just makes you to feel being so fortunate being born in South Africa and getting recognition for the developments that I'm doing. It's extremely wonderful. Tonight was a confirmation of one of my biggest strategies in terms of empowering women, where I continue to say that we as women should strive to continuously lift others once we climb. And today was a confirmation of that because I saw myself being recognized for the work that I've done. And it makes me to continue to recognize others for the work that they are doing. So wonderful, so great. The recipient of this year's Lifetime Achievement Award was the Princess of Africa herself, Yvonne Chaka Chaka, a legend for her music as well as humanitarian work. I'm actually very grateful to Topco and uh, to Standard Bank for finding it fit to give me this Lifetime Award. I'm grateful to all my fans and everybody who's stood by me. I'm very humbled and I will always have my feet firm on the ground and God will just lift me up in the work that I do. Women have been disenfranchised, segregated and just being put in the kitchen and that's not where they belong. 
Women belong in a boardroom because once they are there, they do all these good work. So I'm very grateful that awards like this are there. We need more because you've seen tonight, it was great women and very inspirational. These are women that I look up to as well. And I think, you know, women open doors and women do good work. These awards want to advance the success of women and share the vision of South Africa's She Economy, a new economy thriving on full inclusivity and empowerment for women.